tan solo quieres que yo te siga Señor
hazme un instrumento de tu paz donde haya odio lleve yo tu amor donde haya injuria tu perdón Señor donde haya duda fe Hazme un instrumento de tu paz Que lleve tu esperanza por lo que Donde haya oscuridad lleve tu luz Donde haya pena tu gozo Señor Maestro, ayúdame a nunca buscar Ser consolado sino consolar Ser entendido sino entender Ser amado sino yo amar Dando a todos que tú nos das Y muriendo es que volvemos a nacer Hazme un instrumento de tu
para ti porque tengo tristeza si nada es imposible para ti nada es imposible para ti nada es imposible para ti Porque tengo dudas si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo dudas si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo dudas si nada es imposible para ti. Porque tengo dudas. Sin nada es imposible para ti. Enséñame a amar, porque nada es imposible para ti. Enséñame a amar. Nada es imposible para ti. Enséñame a perdonar, porque nada es imposible para ti. Enséñame a perdonar, porque nada es imposible para ti. Nada es imposible para ti. Es imposible para ti. Tú te hiciste hombre porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú te hiciste hombre. Porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú te hiciste hombre. Porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú te hiciste hombre. Porque nada es imposible para ti. Venciste a la muerte porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú venciste a la muerte porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú estás entre nosotros porque nada es imposible para ti. Tú estás entre nosotros. Es imposible para ti. Nada es imposible para ti. Nada es imposible para ti.
En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo, el Señor esté con ustedes. En las aguas del bautismo, Mayra Isabel Meraz murió con Cristo, y con Él resucitó a una nueva vida. Que ella participe ahora con Él de la gloria eterna. Amén. En el día de su bautismo, Mayra fue revestida de Cristo. Que Dios la acoja ahora en la plenitud de su amor y la lleve a la vida eterna. Amén. Pues hermanos, al inicio de esta misa, quiero ofrecer por la parte de toda esta parroquia y los miembros de esta parroquia, nuestros, nuestras oraciones a todos ustedes, a la familia de nuestra querida hermana Mayra. Te pedimos, Señor, que bendices esta familia, que conquistes el dolor y la pena que ellos sufren ahorita. Y si puedo decir por la parte de la familia, queremos decir gracias a todos ustedes que han venido, a los aquí presentes, los que están afuera y los que están mirando uh, esta misa en sus propias casas por el internet. Queremos decir gracias por su apoyo, también sus oraciones. So a word of gratitude on behalf of the family, we'd like to say a word of thanks to you who are watching at home, those of you who are outside as well as in the church who have come to pay your respects and to present our dear sister Myra to the hands of God, our Almighty Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who alone are able to give life after death, free your servant Myra from all sins, that she who believed in the resurrection of your Christ may, when the day of resurrection comes, 
be united with you in glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del libro de la sabiduría. El justo, aunque muera prematuramente, hallará descanso, porque la edad venerable no consiste en tener larga vida, ni se mide por el número de años. Las verdaderas canas del hombre son la prudencia y la edad avanzada se mide por una vida intachable. Cumplió la voluntad de Dios y Dios lo amó. Vivía entre pecadores y Dios se lo llevó. Se lo llevó para que la malicia no permitiera su conciencia, para que no se dejara seducir por el engaño, pues la fascinación del mal oscurece el bien y el vértigo de las pasiones pervierte a las almas inocentes. Llegó a la plenitud de una larga vida. Su vida le fue agradable a Dios, por lo cual el Señor se apresuró a sacarlo de entre la maldad. La gente ve, pero no comprende ni se da cuenta de que Dios ama a los justos y se compadece de sus elegidos. Palabra de Dios. Señor es mi pastor, nada me falta. El Señor es mi la 
cabeza con perfume y mi copa rebosa. El Señor es mi pastor, nada me falta. Tu bondad y tu misericordia me acompañan. Todos los días de mi vida y habitar en la casa del Señor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Thessalonians, we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For it we believe that Jesus died and rose. So true will God, through Jesus, bring him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the, Lord, with the word of a command, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with, the, with these words, the word of the Lord. Thanks. Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. 
En aquel tiempo, cuando Jesús vía, vio a la muchedumbre, subió al monte y se sentó. Entonces se le acercaron sus discípulos. Enseguida comenzó a enseñarles así, «Dichosos los pobres de espíritu, porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Dichosos los que lloran, porque serán consolados. Dichosos los sufridos, porque heredarán la tierra». Dichosos los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque serán saciados. Dichosos los misericordiosos, porque obtendrán misericordia. Dichosos los limpios de corazón, porque verán a Dios. Dichosos los que trabajan por la paz, porque se les llamará hijos de Dios. Dichosos los perseguidos por causa de, de la justicia, porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Dichosos serán ustedes cuando los injurien, los persigan y digan cosas falsas de ustedes por causa mía. Alégrense y salten de contento porque su premio será grande en los cielos. Palabra del Señor. Se pueden sentar. You may be seated. Pues, hermanos, hoy es un día de mucha tristeza, porque por un rato necesitamos decir adiós a nuestra hermana. Pero ya sabemos que hoy es un día de esperanza también. El Señor nos da tres cosas para animarnos hoy y en las próximas y siguientes, siguientes días. Es la fe, el amor y la esperanza. La fe es el acto de la voluntad que nos, que nos una con el Señor, que nos da el poder del cielo. Es como un cordón que ponemos en la pared para recibir la electricidad. Así es la fe para nosotros. Es una participación en la vida del Señor y en el poder del Señor. También es el amor. El amor que, que celebramos hoy es primeramente el Señor, el amor de, del Señor. Recuérdense que el Señor bajó del cielo, prendió nuestra carne. Y en eso, por medio de su sacrificio en la cruz, destruyó la muerte y conquistó el pecado. Es decir que por medio del sacrificio de Cristo tenemos el perdón de los pecados en nuestras vidas. Cuando acercamos al Señor en la fe y en humildad, pidiendo perdón por nuestros pecados, recibimos el perdón. Y finalmente es la esperanza. La esperanza es el don del Señor que nos da una participación ahorita en los bienes que esperamos. Es decir, que podemos gustar un poquito del cielo aquí en la tierra. Porque esperamos la venida del Señor. Y también confiamos las palabras del Señor. Que Él ya ha preparado un lugar por cada uno de nosotros en el cielo. Un cuarto en la mansión del Señor. Y por eso tenemos la esperanza. Today, my friends, on this terribly sad day, as we have to say goodbye to Myra, we ask that God's peace be with her, that through the intercession of the angels and saints and through our prayers here, that God wash her clean from every sin and bring her home to the kingdom of heaven, that place for which she was made. And the Lord this day doesn't leave us alone not only are we consoled by the power of the Eucharist upon this altar, but the Lord gives us three different virtues to help us in this time of great sadness. He gives us first and foremost the gift of faith, which unites us to the very power of God. Jesus said, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, be uprooted and thrown into the sea and it would obey you. It only takes a little bit of faith for us to share in the very power of God. And then there's the gift of love that God gives us, love that is made manifest on the cross. Jesus says himself, no greater love has one man than to lay down his life for his friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. 
It is by following the law of God that we show our love for God. And it is by working for each other's salvation that we show our love for one another. Love, remember, is not just some sentiment. It's not just a feeling. It's a choice we make to do right by God and to do good by our neighbor. If we reduce it to just a sentiment, lots of things can make us, in a sense, feel love. But that's not true love. Love is in the will. If you sit down and ate a whole box of chocolates all by yourself or ate a whole half gallon of Chunky Monkey, you could feel giddy inside and have the butterflies in your stomach, but that's not love. Love is when we choose to act and to do that which is good and right by our beloved. And then finally, we have the gift of hope. Hope, as I said just a moment ago in Spanish, is that virtue that allows us to share beforehand in the good things to come in the kingdom of heaven, which is already here amongst us. I guess, you know, when you think of hope, you think of, of the banquet that God has prepared for us. I know when I would come home from work or school and my mom was cooking something that I really liked, you know, that, that, that smell would just fill the whole house. And maybe it was a pan stew or maybe it was my dad frying chicken in the oven or I don't know many of you have favorite dishes that your moms make for you and your grandmas make. Maybe it's, oh, I don't know, probably carnitas. That would be my favorite in Spanish dish. But, you know, when you come home and you can smell that, you say to yourself, wow, in just a little bit, I'm going to get something really good. And in a sense, you're already sharing in it. And that's what we have here today at this Mass. We have a foretaste of heaven, and it is with our prayers that we pray that Myra will be sharing not just in the smell of the kingdom of heaven, not just in the sense of the kingdom of heaven, but very much by the sight of God himself in the kingdom of heaven. St. John tells us in his first letter, he says, children, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed, but we do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. You see, the day we die and we look upon the face of Christ is the day that we become changed to be like Christ. So today we make this our prayer, that Myra behold the face of Christ, that she see him and be transformed to be like him in that place where there is no more sin, no suffering, no anxiety, no fear, no trouble, but just the very love of God. And we don't come empty-handed today either. Today we come with the very power of Christ himself on the altar. You know that at Mass, the priest takes the bread and wine, and, and through the words, they become Jesus himself, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. And the priest offers that to God the Father. Today I'm going to offer Myra too, and you're going to help me with that. You're going to lift her up in prayer so that when the Father looks upon his son in the Eucharist, he might also look upon his daughter and say, welcome home, my sweet, my beloved. Nos ponemos de pie. Please stand. Dios, el Padre Todopoderoso, resucitó a Cristo, su Hijo, de entre los muertos. Llenos de confianza, le pedimos que salve a todo su pueblo, a vivos y muertos. Para que la esperanza firme en la resurrección y en el corazón de cada uno de los miembros de la iglesia, Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. Para que los que sufren la pérdida de un ser amado reciban el consuelo y la paz de Dios en la bondad de los demás, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. Para que la familia y los amigos de Mayra que hoy sufren esta pena encuentren consuelo y fuerzas en la resurrección de Cristo, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For Mayrita, who in baptism was given pledge of eternal life.
that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may rise up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mayrita, for those who have fallen asleep and in the hope of rising again, that may the, see the God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may welcome into glory those of our fam friends and family that have gone before us, especially her grandma, Emilia Meraz, her great-grandparents, Celestino Anita Solorio, Perfecto y Maria Meraz, her tios, Federico Villanueva, Manuel y Jose Espinosa, Ángel Salazar, Antonio y Ignacio Solorio, her tios and tía, Rubén y Esperanza Meraz, y Alfonso y Juanita Espinosa. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh Dios piadoso, afirmamos nuestra fe y nuestra esperanza en la resurrección de tu Hijo, consolados por tu gracia y por la promesa de la vida eterna. Te ofrecemos nuestras plegarias. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Amén. Se pueden sentar. You may be seated. Bienaventurados, pobres de la tierra, porque de ustedes es el reino de Dios. Bienaventurados, los que pasan hambre, los que lloran sangre por amor. Adiós, bienaventurados los sacrificados, los desamparados serán grandes ante Dios. Tiende más tu mano, haz a todos hermanos. Con tu cristianismo y amor a Dios. Alégrense y llénense de gozo, porque les esperan maravillas en el cielo. Oren, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Que el Señor reciba en tus manos este sacrificio. Avanza en gloria de tu nombre. A nuestro bien y el bien de Dios. Toda su santa iglesia. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servant, Mayra, and purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For it is at your summons that we come to birth, and by your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return on account of sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 santo es el Señor, Dios del universo, que nos está en el cielo y la tierra de tu gloria. Yes, por favor, please kneel. And those of you outside may remain standing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Este es el misterio de la fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús, ven, Señor Jesús. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mayra Isabel, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Nos ponemos de pie. Please stand. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz de nuestros días para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venir de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino. Tuyo el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. el pecado del mundo ten piedad de nosotros ten piedad de nosotros Cordero de Dios que quitas el pecado del mundo ten piedad Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme. En algunos momentos vamos a ofrecer comunión a la congregación aquí adentro y también afuera por los que son católicos y están dispuestos a comulgar dignamente, están invitados a comulgar, pero si no son católicos o si hace mucho tiempo de su última confesión, se pueden sentar y pueden prender ese tiempo para rezar por la, el eterno descanso de nuestra querida hermana. Oh, 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 oh,
parece mentira que te haya grabado, que se hace el pequeño al que he acunado y que se Tan pronto en mis brazos El que se ría Al mirar al cielo Y cuando rezaba Se ponía serio sobre este matero veo aquel pequeño que entre los doctores hablaba en el templo que cuando de Dios se encargaba ese mismo niño el que está en la cruz el rey de los hombres se llama Jesús Ya cae la tarde, se nublan los cielos, pronto volverás a tu Padre eterno.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servant, Mayra Isabel, that cleansed by the Paschal mysteries, she may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope for one day. We shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Myra Isabel in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers and open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our sister forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace now, let us take our sister to the place of her rest. Yeah. 
sufro los que lloran porque recibirán paz y consuelo Good morning. I believe most of the people here know me, but if you don't, my name is Adan Renteria. <clears throat> and I am the proud cousin of Mayra Meraz. I would like to thank everyone here for coming to celebrate my cousin's life. My cousin was 31 years old and passed away on Saturday, on Sunday, November 1st. Mayra Isabel Meraz was born on November 15, 1988, in Oceanside, California, at Tri-City Hospital. Born to Carlos Meraz and Rosalina Villanueva. She has two sisters, Sally and Anita. She grew up in San Marcos on her grandparents' flower farm. She attended San Marcos High School, then went on to be part of the first graduating class of Mission Hills High School in 2006. Maida's first job was at her grandparents' flower shop. In 2007, she began working at the after school program at Mission Elementary School in Oceanside. Then she started working at JCPenney Portrait Studio where she fell in love with photography. In 2008, she became a photographer for Kodak at Legoland while still working at the JCPenney Portrait Studio. Myra earned her cosmetology license in 2012 from the Palomar Institute of Cosmetology. She went on to work at a salon in San Marcos. Then she started work at Save On Resorts, a travel agency where she worked in sales, built websites, and was promoted to reservations manager. Myra has two daughters, Kalia, nine, and Athena, seven. She moved to Valley Center just after having Kalia. Myra was very crafty. She liked to make very elaborate gifts, just like her grandma. She loved the color green. <clears throat> she was obsessed with it. She loved stars, especially shooting stars. At times, she would make wishes. Some of those wishes she would share with others, and some she would keep to herself. She loved all genres of music. Old school was one of her tops, and would often fall asleep listening to oldies. She enjoyed going to the movie theater. She loved to wear Tahitian pearls. In fact, they were her favorite. She was adventurous and always wanted to take back roads if there was one. Going to the beach was one of her favorite things to do, especially to cruise the strand. She also loved going to our annual family camping trips in Ensenada. Growing up, Mayra was always ordered Shirley Temples with, that, with extra cherries. She loved winged things, my tia Emilia's relleno. La especial for their chips and salsa and the chicken soup with extra cheese and no vegetables. Felipe's pizza was also a favorite. She loved my tia Loretta's lasagna. There are two things Mayra hated, surprises and ketchup. One time my tío and Sally had put ketchup, all the hamburgers that they snuck into the movie theaters to prank Mayra. When Mayra bit into the hamburger, she was upset. She started to cry in the movies. 
She hated surprises and she hated ketchup. I don't know why you guys did that. She would ask my tío if she could have sleepovers with her cousins in the tree house at the ranch. She loved playing hide and seek and ding dong ditch. When the crow cousins would get together, they pretended to be the Spice Girls. She always wanted to be Ginger Spice. She always made jokes out of everything and had a contagious laugh. Growing up, Mar Mara shared a room with Sally and this caused many fights. Sally was very organized and Maida was very messy. So you can imagine what that was like. They pretty much had to draw a line in the room to separate them. Maida was very protective of over Anita, her little sister. She was always there to help when things with her, grand, with her grandma couldn't. Myra made sure Anita was taken care of and always called to check up on her. She was very motherly to Anita. Mickey and Chula were her favorite pets growing up. She loved all animals and shared this with her daughters. They have many pets, including a dog, two cats, two rabbits. When Kalia got involved into horseback riding, she, brought, she bought her a horse. His name is Blue. She always made kids her priority, even before she had her own. Her girls were everything to her. One, one of the first activities she signed her daughters up for was ballet, even before soccer. They eventually got into basketball, softball, horseback riding, radio, and barrel racing. She started to embrace the Native American culture to support her daughter's upbringing and heritage. She always wanted to keep them involved in everything, hoping it would mold them into responsible adults. Soccer was a huge part of Myra's life. She played competitive soccer during her teenage years and as an adult. She shared her passion for soccer with her girls. She was vice president of Valley Center Youth Soccer and also in charge of VCYS sponsor sponsorships. But there was no question that her first love was coaching. She started off coaching recreational soccer, sometimes even two teams a season, but then fulfilled her goal of becoming a competitive coach for Valley Center Hurricanes. She volunteered Volunteered her time in FAVE, um, our after school's local art program, in the girls' classes, on the fields, in dance activities, and everything in between. Wherever a hand was needed, Maida had a hand to give. Family was her priority. Even with everything going on in her girls' lives, she always made it a point to celebrate her nieces and nephews on their special days, such as birthdays and first days of school. Her dad was her idol. He was always her number one. He played a major role in upbringing, values, traditions, and parenting. While she didn't inherit my Theo's musical talents, he definitely influenced her love for music. Her grandma, Emilia, was one of the biggest influences in her life that molded her into the person she became. She was a, more of a mother to Maida than a grandma. She embraced the things that her grandma taught her, such as decorating cakes, making corsages at the flower shop. She liked to learn her grandma's recipes, such as perfecting her relleno. During Christmas time, she would help set up her grandma's nacimiento. She inherited her craftiness from her grandma. Years ago, Maida gave her grandma a finch and a canary as a gift for Mother's Day. When her grandma passed away, her grandpa gave the, back, the birds back to Maida. A few weeks ago, when Maida went to feed the birds, one of them flew out. She called her dad in a panic, trying to get the bird back into the cage. Eventually, she was able to get the bird and safely return it to its cage. This shows how much these birds meant to Maida. She would go out of her way to continue some of the traditions that she learned from her grandma. 
ever since her grandma passed away in April. Maida would go visit her at the cemetery every week and take her flowers. The last thing she did was set up her grandma's plot in celebration of Dia de los Muertos. The dress she is wearing today is the dress she was going to wear on that day. Maida survived by two daughters, Kalia and Athena, her parents, Carlos and Rosalina, Grandpa Ramiro, her sister Sally and Anita, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, and countless friends. We can all see by looking around how many people touched, how many people might have touched and influenced. Maida, we thank you for all the memories, advice, support, and kind words. <clears throat> We have lost a special person. You'll truly be missed, but not forgotten. She will now join her grandma in heaven. Yo los recompensaré Si a 
tan felices y ambiciosos, muéstrense siempre gozosos, cada instante con ustedes está.